Okay, Cole's gonna start at the beginning of uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. As you can see, this is right side up. And from his side, he's doing it like this. Okay, um, the boy who lived. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four perfect tribe were proud were, were proud to say that they were perfectly normal, thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be in, involved in anything mysterious because they just didn't hold with such nonsense. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley was, I mean Mr. Dursley was the director of a firm called Grunnings, which made drills. He was a big, beefy man with hardly any neck. Although he did have a very large, although he did have a very large mustache, Mr. Dursley was thin. Mrs. Dursley was thin and bl and blonde and had nearly twice the usual amount of neck. which came in very useful as she spent much of, much of her time craning over guard, guard, garden fences, spying on the neighbors. The Dursleys had a small son called Dudley. In their opinion, there was no finer boy there was no farm boy anywhere. The Dursleys had everything they wanted, but they, but they also had a secret, and their biggest, their greatest fear was that somebody would discover it. Very good. They didn't think they could bear it. it, it I mean, they didn't think they could bear it if anyone found out about the Potters. Mrs. Pot M the Potters. Mrs. Potter was Dursley's Mrs. Dursley's sister. But they didn't they hadn't met for several years. In fact, Mr. Dursley Mrs. Dursley pretended she didn't have a sister because her sister and her good-for-nothing husband were as undugglyish as it was possible to be. The Dursleys shuddered to think what the neighbors would say if the potters arrived in the street. The, Durs the Dursleys knew what the potters had a small... The Dursleys knew that the Potters had a small son, too, but they had never even seen him. This boy was, although good, good reason for keeping the Potters away. They didn't want Dougley mixing with a child like that. When Mr. M Mr. and Mrs. Dursley woke up, in a dull green Tuesday, our story starts there. What? There was a, there was nothing about the cloudy sky outside to suggest that strange and mysterious thing would soon happen, happening, uh, happening all over the country. Mr. Dursley hummed as he picked out his Picking, oh, um, Mr. Dursley hummed as he picked his most boring tie for work, and Mrs. Dursley, gossiping away happily as she wrestled a screaming Dudley into his high chair. None of them, none of them no noticed a large tawny owl 
fluttered past the window at at half past eight at half past eight mrs mr dursley picked, mr dursley picked up his brief briefcase pecked mrs dursley on the cheek and tried to kiss dudley goodbye but he missed because dudley was having a tantrum tantrum and throwing his his cereal at the wall little tyke chuckled mr dursley as he left the house he got into his car and backed into number four drive it was on the counter of corner of the street that he noticed the first sight sign of something peculiar peculiar a cat reading a map for a second, Mr. Dur Dursley didn't realize what he had seen. Then he jerked his head around to look again. There was a tabby cat straight There was a tabby cat standing on the corner cool. of Privet Drive. Um, but there, but there wasn't a map in sight. What could he have been thinking of? It must have been a trick. It must have been a trick of the light. Mr. Durs Mr. Dursley blinked and stared at the cat. It stared back. As Mr. Dursley drove around the corner, corner and up the um, road, he watched the cat and cat in his mirror. It was reading. Oh, wait. Can I start? You start from wherever you want. Okay. This is not a test. Okay. I'm going to start out. Start Why don't you take it from here? Okay. It must have been a trick of the light. Mr. Dursley blinked and stared stared at the cat. It stared back. As Mr. As Mr. Dursley drove around the corner up, corner up the road, he watched the cat his in his mirror it was it was on it was now Good. reading the sign that said private drive on private drive on looking at the sign cats couldn't cats couldn't couldn't read maps or sign. Start it from here again. It was now reading the sign that said Privet Drive on looking at the sign. This is still giving you problems. N O O, -O N. Okay? No. Again, that one somehow for all the last three or four years you really did get the word no and on okay so now you're looking at that and it looks like on but it's actually no yeah. okay no looking at the so, sign cats couldn't read maps or signs mr dursley gave himself a little shake and put the cat out of his mind as he drove toward town he thought of nothing except a large order of of drills he was hoping to get but on the edge of town drills were driven out of his mind by something else as he sat in the usual 
usual morning traffic jam, he couldn't help noticing that that seemed to be a lot of strange people who dressed funny in people who dressed in funny clothes. Is that what it says? Cloth. Try it again. Cloth. Meet what's there. But. but. On the edge of town, drills were driven out of his mind by something else. As he sat in the usual morning traffic, he couldn't help traffic jam. Yeah. He couldn't help but noticing no, noticing that there seemed to be a lot of strange dressed people. The end. Strangely. Yeah, strangely dressed, dressed people about. Right, and we talked about that, I think, before. Yeah. When you say people about, it means people hanging around. Mm -hmm. And that's an English way of saying it, so it's a little hard to understand. People, people in, in cloaks. Mr. Dursley couldn't bear people who dress in, a, in funny cloths. The get-ups you saw on young people. He supposed this was some stupid new fashion. He drummed his his fingers on the steering wheel, and his eyes fell fell on a hubble of hubble of these worried He drummed his fingers. Finger. He drummed his fingers. <coughs> he drummed his fingers on the steering wheel. His eyes fell on a puddle of these weirdos. Good. Steve. Perfect. So you had two mistakes there, but you fixed both of them. Okay. First you said hubble, but now it's huddle. Big difference. And. I don't know what you said for weirdos, but it wasn't weirdos. But you would just just by starting the sentence again, you corrected both of those problems. So there's a huddle of these weirdos standing quite close by. There were whisper. They. They were whispering excitedly together. Mr. Dursley was was and. Enraged Good. to see that a couple of them were young, weren't young at all. Why? That man had to be older than he was, and wearing a emerald green cloak. The nerve of him! But then it struck Mr. Dursley. This was probably some silly stunt. These people were um, obviously collecting for something. Yes, that would be it. The, the traffic moved on, moved on, and a few minutes later, Mr. Dursley arrived in the Grunnings parking lot. His mind back on drills. Mr. Dursley always sat with his back on the window in his office. On the f ninth floor, I, if he didn't, if he, if he, if he hadn't, mm -hmm. he might have found it hardly to concentrate on drills that morning. He didn't see the owl swooping, swooping past in, bored day, in broad daylight. Good. Though people down in the street did, they pointed and gazed open mouth as Owl after owl sped overhead. Most of them had never seen an owl. 
even at midnight time. Mr. Drizzly, however, had perfectly normal owl free morning. He yelled at five different people. He made several important telephone calls, and he shouted a little bit more. He was... He was in a very good mood until lunchtime. That he, when he thought he'd stretch his legs and walk across the road, buying himself a bun from the bakery, he forgotten all about the people in cloaks until he passed. He passed a group of them next to the bakery. He eyed them angrily as he passed. He didn't know why, but they made him mad uneasily. Un Say that again. He didn't He didn't know why he didn't know why they made him uneasy. Mm -hmm. This bunch were whispering excitedly too and he couldn't see a sign a slight collecting tin it was if you make a mistake if that doesn't make sense yeah. you gotta read it again try a it again this bunch were whispering, whispering excitedly, excitedly too and, and he, he couldn't, couldn't see, see a, a Sight. I mean, sign. What's S I N G? S I N G. Sign. S I N G. Oh, sing. Sing. We. No. I mean. Sing. Single. Right. All right. Now try it again. This bunch this were whispering bunch excitedly too, too. And, and he couldn't he see a single. single collecting tin. Right. It was on his way back back past them. Chuck clutching Good. a large donut mm -hmm. donut in a bag. That he caught a few words of what they were saying. The potters, that's right, that's what I heard. Yes, their son Harry. Mrs. Mr. Dursley stopped dead. Fear flooded him. He looked back at the whispers as if he wanted to say something to them, but thought better of it. He dashed back across the road, hurried up to his office, snapped at his secretary not to disturb him. S sized his tel size kind of looks like sized. It's got that E in there, which makes it get a long E sound. Seized. It means grabbed. Oh. Seized. Seized his telephone and had almost finished dialing his home number when he caught his mind. He put the receiver back down and stroked his mustache, thinking on, thinking on. It he was being stupid. Potter's... Same thing. Same problem. Uh, no. No. He was being stupid. N-O-O-N. That's that simple little word that's giving you a lot of trouble. Potter, Potter wasn't was such an unusual name. name. He, he was sure there were lots of people called Potter. Potter, who had a son called Harry. Come to think of it, he wasn't even sure. He he wasn't even sure 
his nephew was called was called Harry. He never even seen the boy. It might have been Harley Harvey. It might have been Harvey. Har it might have been Harvey or Harold. Harold. Um, there was on, there on point, no. Okay, point. same thing again, N-O-O-N. There was no, no point. Oh, no, I always get confused with no I know you was. do, I know, O-N-N-O. That's, that's one of the ones that gets you every um, time. There was no, no point, point in worrying, Mrs. Dursley. Dursley. She always got upset at anything mentioned of her sister. He didn't blame her. If he'd had a sister like that, but all that, all that same, all that same. Oh, all. But the all the same. same. Those people in cloaks. He found it. A lot harder to concentrate on drills that, drills that afternoon. Don't speed up so much, okay? Because, mm -hmm. you, you know, you want to concentrate on understanding what you're reading. All right? You read very fast, and you read it right, but slow it down a little. He found it a lot harder to concentrate on drills that afternoon. And when he left the building at 5 o'clock, he was still so worried that he walked straight into some someone just outside the door sorry he grunted as he tr as as the tiny old man stumbled and almost fell it was a few seconds before mr Dursley realized that the man was wearing a, a violet cloak he didn't seem at all upset at being almost knocked knocked to the f ground on the on the contrary mm -hmm. contrary on the contrary on, on the contrary his face split into a wide smile and he said in a squeaky voice that made made Pace. Pace. That's a tough one. It's another word we never use. Passers by. It means people walking by. Oh, people that passers pass. by. That made they passers by, by stare. Yeah. And here he is, squeaky voice. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, my dear sir. For nothing could upset me today. Rejoice for you know who had gone at last. Even muggles like yourself should be celebrating at this happy day. And the old man hugged Mr. Dursley around the middle and walked off. Mr. Dursley stood Slow down. rooted to the spot. He had been hugged. He had been hugged by a complete stranger and also though he had been called a muggle, whatever that meant. He he was rattled. He hurried to his car and set off for home, hoping he was imagining things, which he had never hoped before because he didn't approve of imagination. As he pulled into the driveway of number four, the first thing he saw and didn't improve his mood was that Taddy Cat, Taddy Cat, he was, he saw and, don't make up words, was the Tabby Cat, he was, and, what's that word? Oh, saw, I get this, no, not that word, you, the next line. Oh, I see. Was the tabby cat he'd... Oh, I didn't realize. Pop... Sp sp 
spotted. 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 So spotted. The, the tabby cat he'd spotted that morning. Oh, I read the same line yeah. again. Was um, the tabby right, cat right. he spotted, spotted that right. morning? It was now sitting on his garden wall. He saw. He saw. Sure, it was the same one. He had. Try it again. He. He was sure. Good. You said saw before. He. Yeah. Okay. I get confused with. I know because, so, because the way you're was, reading, you know, it's from before. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was sure. He was sure. It was the same. It, he was. He, he was sure it was the same one. It had the same markings around its eye. Shoe, said Mr. Dursley loudly. Good. I totally understand why you're having trouble with saw and no. Yeah. You know? The two words uh, are completely different when they're upside down. The cat the, didn't move. The cat didn't move. It just gave him a stare, looking at... Don't make up your own words. Read exactly what's there. It just gave him a stare. No. I did it again. The cat didn't move. Ooh, it, it just, just gave, gave him a stern right, look. Right, stern look. It's not a stare. Mm -hmm. Okay, a stern look is like, yeah. you know, okay? Was um, this was normal cat behavior? behavior? Mr. Dursley wondered. Yep. Yeah. Was this normal cat behavior, Mr. Dursley wondered? wondered? trying to pull himself together he let himself into the house he was still determined not to mention anything to his wife mrs dursley had a nice normal day she told him over dinner about m next mrs next door's problem with her daughter and how Dougley had learned a new word, won't. Mrs. Dursley, Mr. Dursley, Good. Correct. tried to act normal. When Dougley had been put to bed, he went into the living room, time to, to catch the last report on the evening news. And finally, Bird watchers everywhere had reported that the notice nation's owls have been having very unusual have I mean been having I mean, the nation's owls have been behaving very unusual today. Although owls normally hunt at night, they are hardly even s seen in daylight. They're, I mean. Try it again. Okay. You're changing the word slightly and it's, although, it's throwing you off. Although, although owls, owls normally hunt at, at night and, and are hardly ever seen, seen in daylight, daylight, there have been hun hundreds of sightings of these birds flying in every direction. Sight Signs, s sights since since sunrise. Right, there it's have been hundreds of these birds flying in every direction since sunrise. So ever since the sun came up, there are owls flying all over, all over the country. Mm -hmm. Experts are, are experts are page. Okay. Expert, uh, experts are unable to explain why the owls have suddenly changed their sleeping patterns. The newscast allowed... The newscaster, what's your ending? The a newscaster allowed, allowed himself, himself a, a grin. grin, so he's smiling. Most mysterious. And, and now, now... Over to Jim McCulfey with McGuffin. McGuffin with the weather... With the weather um, weather. Going to be any more showers of owls tonight, Jim? Well, Ted, said the weatherman. I don't know about that, but 
it's not only the owls that have been acting oddly today. Viewers as f far apart as Newton, your your I mean, it's the name of a Kel town. Kelton. Keaton? Spell it. K e n t. Right. Kelt. Spell it again. K e n t. Think of the Kent. Letter. Kent, exactly. Kent and viewers as far apart as and Kent, Kent and Yorkshire, Yorkshire and Dun. That's right. Dun Dundee. These are three different towns, oh. just like Foster, Situate, and Cranston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Viewers as far Forest apart Park. as Kent, Yorkshire, and Dundee have, have been, been phoning in to tell into. Tell, tell me that's inter, in, 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 instead of the rain I promised yesterday, they have a downpour of shooting stars. Perhaps people have been celebrating bonfire night early. It's not until next week, folks, but I can promise a wet night tonight. Mr. Dursley sat frozen in his chair, armchair, shooting. Now watch these next ones. They have question marks after them. Uh, shooting stars all over, over Britain. Britain. Owls flying out. Owls flying by daylight. Mysterious people in cloaks cloaks all over the place and whispers about the potters. Mrs. Dursley came into the living room carrying two cups of tea. It was no good. He'd have to say something. Um, he would have to say something to her. Clearing his throat. He cleared his throat nervously. Er, Petunia dear. You haven't heard from your sister lately, have you? As he expected, Mrs. Dursley looked sh sh shocked and angrily. After all, they normally pretended she didn't, didn't have a sister. No, she sh said sharply. Why? Funny stuff on the news, Mr. Dursley mumbled. Owls shooting stars, and there were funny-looking people in town today. So. 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 See how it's written. Yeah. So. so snap, Mrs. Dursley. Dursley. Well, I just thought maybe it was something to do with. You know her crowd. Mrs. Dursley snipped her, sipped her tea through through pursed lips. Mr. Dursley, Dursley wondered whether he dared tell her he heard the name Potter. He decided that he didn't dare. Instead, he said as cautiously as he could, their son, their son, he, he'd be about Dudley's age now, would, wouldn't he? I suppose so, Mrs. Dursley s said stiffly. What's his name again? Har Harold? Howard, Howard, isn't it? Isn't it? Harry, nasty, nasty, Com common name, if you ask me. Oh yes, said Mr. Durs, Mr. Dursley, his head synced horribly. Try that again. Oh yes, said Mr. Mr. Dursley. Dursley, his his, his heart sinking horribly. Yes, yep. I. Quite agree. He didn't say 
another word on the subject as they were upset to upstairs to bed while okay when you make a mistake like that start the sentence again he didn't say another he word he didn't say another word although ah. an, a word. try it again Wait. he didn't, he didn't say, say another word on the subject as they went upstairs to bed while mr mrs period while Mrs. He didn't say another word on the subject as they went upstairs to bed. Yes. Sorry, um, I gotta get them out of here at eleven. Okay. And I just want—I just I didn't okay, want to no, interrupt. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. And I apologize. No, it's fine. Um, it's fine. He's actually been going at this longer than I thought he would be going. So, uh, are we, we getting close right now? Oh no, it's only—it's—it's—I it's, it's, wanted to give you enough time. It's like ten thirty-five. So. Okay. Like about five hours. I, I know you videotaped or not. I didn't no, want to no interrupt, but wanted to give you enough yeah. time in the back of my. I'll let them. I'll let them know. Olivia. No problem. Yeah, let us oh, know. Okay. All right. Let us know. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. While well, Mrs. Dursley was in the bathroom, Mr. Dursley crept into the bedroom window and per down into the front peered. peered it means looked or peeked peered, peered down into, into the, the front, front garden. garden the cat was sitting with the cat was still there Good. it was staring down privet drive as though it um it were Waiting for something. Now remember, like I said before, you make a mistake and you go over it, it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. You make a mistake, you catch yourself, you go back, it's not a mistake anymore, it's fixed. Okay, and that's the same thing when a teacher is doing a uh, running record test on you to see how your reading is. You can go back three times and when you finally get it right, it's not a mistake anymore, it's called a self-correct. So it doesn't, yeah. you know, it doesn't count as a mistake anymore. And plus, it helps you understand the story better. Mm -hmm. Was he imagining like things? things? Could this, could all this have been something to do with the Potters? Um, if it did. If it did. If it. If if it did. If it got. If it got out that they were. Related to a pair of, well, he didn't think he could bear it. The Dursleys got into bed. Mrs. Dursley fell asleep quickly, but the, but, but Mr. Dursley lay awake, turning it all over in his mind. He, while his last, Comforting? Comforting. Comforting. It's comforting. just how you said it. Comforting. His last comforting thought. Before he fell asleep was that even if the potters were involved. See how they wrote this? Mm -hmm. Were. Even if the potters were involved. Okay. Mm -hmm. He wrote the, the author. Actually, it was a woman. Wrote that like that so that you would emphasize it. Even if the potters were involved, there was no reason. There was no reason for them to come near him. And Mrs. Dur Dursley, Dursley. Mm -hmm. the potters knew very well what he and Petunia thought about them and their kind, but couldn't, but he couldn't see how he and Petunia get mixed up with anything that might be going on. He yawned and turned over. It couldn't, it couldn't affect him. 
It couldn't affect them. This is important. This is, he's going to sleep and he's saying, it won't matter. So what? It's not mm -hmm. going to affect them. And now, how, how very wrong he was. was okay? Mm -hmm. Now the story really gets into like what's in the movie. Okay, mm -hmm. Mr. Dursley might, might have, have been, been drifting, drifting into an uneasy sleep. sleep. But the cat, the cat on the wall, observe out, out, um, sorry. That's okay. But the cat on the wall outside was showing on sign on. But the cat on the wall outside, outside was, was showing, showing on. Again, same oh, thing. Wait, no, sign, no sign, sign of sleepiness. Of Read the sentence again. Mr. Dursley might have, might have been drifting into an uneasy sleep, but the cat on, mm -hmm. on the wall outside was showing no sign of sleep. Now notice over here, on and no, in the same sentence. Okay? You got the on right the first time, but when you get to this one, you want it to say on again. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. It's that N-O uh, my guess is that that's one of those few words that you've had since kindergarten that you always got right. Mm -hmm. You know, and the teacher said, well, he always gets no right, or he always gets on right. Okay. Mr. Dursley might have been drifting into an uneasy sleep, but the cat on the wall outside was showing no sign of sleepiness. It was sitting as...